Hello family, today is the 27th of June, it is 2017 and it is 4.31 in the a.m. and I'm still awake. I took a nap but I'm up and I'm ready to talk about the BET Awards weekend. The shenanigans, the alleged robbery, the, the mopping up and the ass tapping and all that other in between. Let's talk about it. Because it was just, it was, whoa. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the weekend was off the chain from top to bottom. I didn't partake in, in, in any of the festivities. Gotten a little bit older, kind of out of the loop a little bit, allowing the kids to have their fun. You know what I'm saying? And it was a lot of childish ass behavior was jumping off at the BET Awards weekend. And let me also say, a lot of this is alleged. I wasn't there, but I am from Compton. I know a few folks and word on the street, okay? So then, therefore, I'm just sharing a little bit of Cali news right quick. So can we just BET weekend Cali news twist? That's what we on right now, okay? But before we start talking about that, and being that we're on Cali News, congratulations to Beyonce. Her babies are two weeks old, and they have just come home to their estate, okay? Their compound in Malibu, California. I'm not mad at that, okay? They say, check this out. I got a $70 million budget, and I can't find no home, okay? So we're just going to pay this 40, four, 400 thousand I don't know if that shit is per month or if that's for the summer I don't understand I don't know that that that's 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 a whole lot of dinero to deal with mama and I am not mad at you you got your three children you got your husband you well on your way and your snapback is gonna be so cold-blooded it's on some wait for it wait for it okay so yeah I just wanted to tap on that right quick you know what I'm saying that, um, you know, it's, it's just a beautiful thing. You know, it's a beautiful thing, Virgo. Virgo to Virgo, you're going the right way, okay? You're going the right way on your path, okay? So let me say, also say, namaste, okay? But the weekend get to coming in. You know, there was concerts. I believe Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night was different concerts. It was a hip-hop night. You know, I believe it was R&B night. You know, different nights had themes. There was a lot of different shows. A lot of people was in town, okay, for the different shows and whatnot. But in the midst of it all, you get that, you motherfuckers get on that brown, you know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers get on that, you know what I'm saying, that endo, you know? And motherfuckers start tripping out. Can't handle their liquor, you know what I'm saying? They ready to fight now. Because I was rather alarmed. I put it on my Facebook Saturday um, of Safari you know, getting into it with McMill, and I just didn't understand, okay? Because, first of all, you know, I believe that it was a chump move, buster move, mark, you know what I'm saying? Some, some, some of that type of level shit, lame, okay? Because, first of all, it was one of the, well, you know how, like, they used to have the, the craziest or the dumbest criminals? It was, like, on that level. Okay, now as I understood it from what um, the reports that I was, you know, listening on and, and came in on and was shared um, was the fact that there was a party given by DJ Khaled and um, a lot of people were had, you know, interviews, just hitting the interview circuit and it was networking on eleven. Okay, so people was going from one venue, one party to the next. And a lot of it started out with Puffy had a party um, this uh, this past week as well as the launching of his new documentary. So, you know, it started off lit. The whole, from Wednesday, third, yeah, Wednesday on up, it was lit. Okay, all last week. But at any rate, um, I believe this was Friday. No, or was it Saturday when Meek and Safari had this incident, okay? Now, first of all, Meek pulls up, camera phones lit, TMZ plugged in and ready to go. You know what I'm saying? They got, they, they, they got spare batteries on deck just for this kind of bullshit right here, okay? 
Now, Safari, you see him walk out, and it was almost like to the point where he was like, what's up, when he seen Meek Mill. Meek, you on camera and everything, there's nothing to deny, okay? So, basically, Safari was like, what's up, and before anything can go down, here's three or four more cats jump out the subsequent uh, SUV, and they get the, you know what I'm saying, tapping on that ass, okay? Now, what would anybody have done if, if you know, a, a truckload of motherfuckers jump out and they trying to lay hands? Um, nigga, what you gonna do? It's called a uh, run, okay? So then, therefore, he tried to do that, you know what I'm saying? And he ca he came out pretty well unscathed, okay? He was he was able to tell, talk about it and tell about it. Necklaces and shit was still, everything was intact, you know what I'm saying? But, Meek, let me tell you something. Now you run the risk of this guy tapping into your coins, okay? Now, he has every right, you know, but loose lips sink ship, so uh, Safari, shut up and quit talking, okay? Allow these people to do their job, okay? Because the way that, the way that went down, that was hella crazy. And it had Meek Mill's name all over it. These are your people. These are the people that you pay. These are your entourage. These is your folks. This is part of your sponsorship right here. So, yeah, that right there and Safari, let me tell you something. There will be absolutely no judgment from me, you know, for you to go ahead on and, you know, sue these motherfuckers or file charges or whatever your get down is. But I understand that the credibility on the street motherfuckers ain't into, you know what I'm saying, going down there and testifying on nobody. But really, there's not much of a testimony because the writing is on the wall and it's on live and techno color on how this shit, you know, went down from the time frame that we were able to witness, shall I say. But, um, you know, it's a trip because just here, what was that last week, Safari and uh, Star was going back and forth. Um, young lady that he was also had been seeing or whatever after... Um, the demise of his relationship with Nikki. Um, and uh, I have to say, Star is a very beautiful young lady. Very, very beautiful. Hangs out with Black China and all that. But apparently you done something to piss her ass off. Because in the therefore, she took everything that you owned at her pad. And sold that shit and gave it away, excuse me, to the homeless on Skid Row. If that wasn't a player move, I don't know what you call it. That's how she did you, though. So I'm not mad at that, okay? Whatever it was, I guess it was warranted, okay? But then you're going to turn around now, and now you're going to get this dude right here jumped, and the common denominator between the both of you guys is Nikki, and Nikki ain't sweating neither one of y'all motherfucking houses. That's what's so hella crazy. That's why, you know, a lot of men that end up in prison and stuff, a lot of it is behind a woman, okay? You know, and, and ego, you know. And uh it it was just it was just it was just not a good look. I mean it it was some, you know, it was it was some it was some buster shit. Because really if you wanted to get your credibility up and you was trying to work on some st some street cred or whatever, then how come you didn't fuck with whack? Okay, I'm just trying to say that. You know what I'm saying? For those of you guys that don't know who he is, he's a brother with his paws all the way up to date. He lays them down. Do you understand me? He is the manager of the game. He's also the manager of Ray J. And he don't fuck around. He lays them down. Okay? Now, Meek Mill got into it with uh, Wacko's, uh, Wax, uh, excuse me, Wax Camp. But I see you ain't over there fucking with them, but you fuck with Safari. You know what I'm saying? By himself. You know what I'm saying? That shit was lame. It was hella lame. It didn't look good. On some real shit. You know what I'm saying? So good luck with that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to have some money to pay out. Just know that part. Because if it was anybody else, hell yes. Run me my money, mine. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get a little sip of this here. But what I want to do is I want to run this, uh, roll this right on into Lil' Kim because she got a problem too right now. First of all, you don't be down there fucking around on Mulholland Drive. Mulholland Drive has been known 
for a long time and all kind of shit jump off. Luther Vandross had a car accident on Mulholland Drive. Teddy Pendergrass had an accident on Mulholland Drive. Motherfuckers didn't have an accident on Mulholland Drive. But yet you go over there, supposedly, allegedly, wanted to rent a little spot, $20,000 for the night, you know what I'm saying? And for you and your crew, and y'all had planned on having a party and all that, but when you got there, allegedly, word on the streets, that you wasn't, you know what I'm saying, you wasn't satisfied with where your 20 G's was going, so it was like, run me back my money, and I want every dime back. Well, according to whatever contract they had going, you had um, reached the statue of cancellation or whatever the case, and they was like, fuck that, fuck you, we ain't giving you nothing. So instead of you going over there, you know what I'm saying, who riding, you sent your peoples over there. These motherfuckers asked for the same amount of money plus an extra $5,000. Now, I don't know what the $5,000 for. Maybe that was their fee for, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, going over there and, and shaking up these folks, okay? But the bottom line is you the one that got a, a, a record, though. I don't know what they got, but everybody know that you are the money tree and you the one with the record. So why in the hell would you send your people back over there to these people's house, you know, talking about you want your motherfucking money back or else? You know what I'm saying? To shake them up and shit. That was crazy, Kim. Now, you walked out the other night. I love that outfit. That motherfucker was bad to the bone, okay? I think I could work with some of that, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I got a little figure eight popping, too. But that outfit right there, yeah, that was giving all kinds of life to me. My post was just racing off that goddamn outfit. What? Yeah, I'm going to need that in my life, okay? Now, yours, my motherfucking ass probably be wearing that shit like Capri's because I'm 5'5". Five five. But, mama, I'm very disappointed, though I understand you wanted your motherfucking money back. But what I didn't understand with the other part of it, though, why did the hell did they take a hubcap? You know what I'm saying? That was had to be an older model goddamn vehicle because last I checked, especially luxury cars, they are sitting on rims. Okay? They're not there's no hubcap or nothing like that. It gets lug nuts. That's what that is. Okay, it's boats. Okay? But yeah, that that's gonna uh that's connecting with the drum. It ain't got nothing to do with, you know what I'm saying, the other thing. You feel me? So Mama, I just feel just like, wow, this is getting ready to be hella crazy for you. Because they're not letting it go here. This has been on the news all day. Okay, they pressing charges fully. So now, all this right here is going to cost you more money to defend this shit. Okay, instead of just going head on. That ain't your house, no way. That ain't your home. That's just a place that you, a spot you was renting and planning on having a party with any motherfucking way. So who cares? You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't totally up to party or caliber. But now you got a whole nother beast to fight. And this shit is going to be crazy because they not letting it go. You know? So, good luck with that, Kim. Good luck with that. Now, also, according to this week's this week in Southern California news, Kim, Kim Kardashian, I say, made about $14 million in one day with the launch of her cosmetics. Okay, just let just soak that in for a minute. About fourteen million, okay, in one day. People can say whatever they want to say, but let let me tell you something. If you wasn't worthy of this, God wouldn't provide it. You understand what I'm saying? So for you to have streams of good luck has nothing has nothing. No, excuse me. Nothing other than depicting your character as a, a woman and as a mother and as a friend, as a daughter. You know what I'm saying? So, mama, I ain't mad at you. And then, too, you got you didn't hire the surrogate to have more babies. Okay, no problem. What you say, I done paid too much motherfucking money to fuck up my results. I ain't trying to do all that right there. But I do want to have an extra child or two, so I'm not mad at it. You know what I'm saying? North does need a sibling. Okay? Yes, she does. But when I say that, um, I'm just proud, you know what I'm saying, that you took a situation and turned it into an empire, you and your mama, you know what I'm saying? And that's theoretically what a lot of people are really pissed off about, 
is the fact that you did this on some shit that everybody has been doing. Well, I won't say everybody. A lot of people have been doing. But you ended up making money off of the back end of that bullshit tape with Ray J. I ain't mad at it, mama. Get your motherfucking money, okay? So, no, I ain't mad at it, you know? You're very beautiful and all that old type of shit, you know? But... Uh, I just wanted to touch on those things. Um, it was so many people in town that was all just scrolling through Instagram and whatnot. You know, it was just, it was, it was a lot. It was, it was, it was, it was all the way live. And I ain't mad at it, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to do is have a good time. And it was good times to be had, you know. The pictures, I was in on all of that. It was some good stuff. So, um, at any rate, um... The next issue was Chris Brown and the Amigos. One more again, you don't punch down, you punch up. Okay? So, when you was leaned back on the, on the car like, uh, check this out. I hired these ones right here to handle this right here. And you did just that. It showed nothing, no more than growth on your behalf. Okay, because yes, you have been wilding out, but it's obvious that you have some post-traumatic syndrome, you know what I'm saying, that stems a long time ago, some deep-rooted stuff, okay, so I ask that you continue to grow further, and you get you somebody that you can genuinely talk to, your innermost, deepest feelings, okay, so then therefore you can continue to make this money and raise this beautiful daughter that you got. Okay, but being out here going through this bullshit with some motherfuckers that's just now getting on, that's punching down. Okay, that's not punching up, that's punching down. Okay, so yeah, I just hope that you know you continue to make this bomb ass music and you continue to help facilitate your growth with whatever it is that you're doing. Continue because you're going the right way, just don't allow. These motherfuckers along your path to take you off course. Because jealousy is a motherfucker. You're nice looking. And you just as paid or more so than Beaver and the rest of these motherfuckers when it comes down to a person standing alone. So you got some weight to carry. Okay? So, but with that though, calm down though, baby. We've, we've, a lot of us are still working on forgiving of the, 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 Incident with Rihanna and all that. But I'm over it. Anybody can be redeemed. I believe that. So, I'm over that. Just work on gaining your strength. Okay? Work on gaining your strength. Because we need you out here in this R&B era. For some good-ass music. That is what we need. So, on that note, family, I is tired. I am going to do a commentary on the BET Awards. But now, I'm spiraling out of control, and I'm ready to lay down and go to bed. So, I will come back in the a.m. and talk about that portion of the video. But for right now, I'm dead tired. So, I say unto you, I thank you. I thank you for your time. Good night, and good morning. Later.